WW Silo Trucker here again with another video on trucking. Uh, my last video was was kind of a rant video, and I actually made a, a couple of mistakes. Um, uh, the first mistake was uh, was just a slip of the tongue. It was just I said that uh, Tesla and uh, uh, Freightliner had diesel trucks. I meant electric trucks. Um, uh, and I also stated that the, uh, the the OTR tractors are class sevens. They're actually class eights. Um, so I went and pulled up a little chart here on the internet and uh, wanted to show it to you. Um, the very top line, because there's also weight that you got to look at too. But we'll we'll get into that in just a second. If you look at this chart here, and this is a uh, from the DOT, um, the top line is your class one vehicles, which are uh, 6,000 pounds, um, pickup trucks, uh, minivans, SUVs, regular vans, utility vans, they call them. Um, and, that's, and that's your class ones. Your class twos, that, that gets into like your... Uh, your Super Duty, Ford makes a Super Duty pickup truck. Um, Dodge and Chevrolet just calls it a 3500 or, or 2500. Um, but those might have diesel engines in them. They might have gas engines in them. Uh, uh, the crew size pickup, uh, full size pickup, um, those are again going to have uh, variations in the engines and also capacities because you see the first thing underneath the class is the weight so um that, that's the main thing that the dot worries about because of how much weight is on the road and how it's dispersed on the road and we'll get into that in just a second too but um so as you can see your class two six thousand one pounds to ten thousand pounds uh, ten thousand pounds is kind of the the uh, the line in the sand so much to where uh, anybody can drive anything ten thousand pounds or less. You know, as long as you got a Class C license, which is your regular uh, license that you get uh, when you're in high school or when you get out of high school, or, um, that's just your regular class. C motor vehicle license. Um, so any vehicle under 10,000 pounds, um, your class twos, your full size pickups. And that, that, like I said, that includes those heavy duty pickups, uh, mini buses, uh, uh, mini vans, uh, the, the small step vans and the, uh, small utility vans. Um, and then you get up to the class threes. And these are the ones I was talking about that, that you see a lot of uh, the three and fours and some of the fives uh, were a lot of your UPS guys and DHL delivery guys and uh, FedEx delivery guys that you'll see running around the neighborhood. Uh, they're going to be in class threes or fours, most likely. Some of them are fives, um, but you don't, but they're still uh, not a class A vehicle, so you don't have to have a CDL to drive one. Um, once you get, you have to get up into a higher weight class before you need to get to something like that. Um, there might be, uh, a, I've never worked for those companies, so I don't really know, but, uh, I'd be willing to bet that there's probably stipulations that you have to go through a training course or something like that. And, uh, but there shouldn't be any kind of, uh, any kind of, um, classification on your license that says you, uh, did that. Okay. Your class threes, you know, your, your cargo deliveries, so your walk-in deliveries, your, your bread trucks, your, like I said, your, uh, your UPS guys and stuff like that, you know, and then your class fours. And these, there's, as you can see, the weights just go up in small increments. Okay, now once you get up into uh, 
class five and class six, that's when you're starting to get into um, a, a B license instead of a C. Um, because of the weight, you're, you're getting up. As you can see, the class fives are up to almost 20,000. Um, and the class sixes are, they're up to 26,000, you know, get approaching 30,000 pounds. So the class six, you're definitely going to have to have a, uh, you still have to do some training, but it's, it's a class B license instead of a class A license. But once you get to the seven and you see the sixes there, you know, the beverage, it says beverage truck, but that's because, you know, the beer trucks and Coca-Cola trucks, stuff like that, that are, they're still a straight truck. They're not a uh, combination vehicle with a tractor and a trailer, but they're so heavy. You can see the weight goes up to 26,000 pounds. Those are some really heavy loads. And the rack truck right beside it, that's like you see a glass, a truck with glass on the side of it. You can see them going down the highway quite a bit. And then the school bus, uh, back in the old days, you didn't have to have a, uh, a class B for a school bus, but uh, now you do. You have to go to, you have to go to a school and get a class B license. And you have a single accent van, uh, or a, uh, what does that say? A, I can't even read that. Something body. <laughs> it's not a very good picture. Sorry about that, folks. But um, and, and you know the, the class sevens. That's when you're starting to get into some pretty heavy weight. You're you're over twenty six thousand pounds, and you're almost up to thirty four. You're at thirty three thousand pounds. You know you're uh, you're your city transit buses and uh, you know, uh, these uh, small local uh, trucks that only have a single axle on the back, um, like the, uh, the third one from the left there on the class seven line, the third one from the left, and also the uh, last one in that line too. Um, that one's got a small sleeper. Um, I think that says mid-bay sleeper. The last company I was with, uh, they had some uh, some local trucks like that. It was just a really small extra extended part in the back and there was just barely enough room to put in a, a, a bed. Okay, and you also got, you know, your tow trucks and uh, your uh, dump truck, I mean, not dump trucks, but uh, your your trash trucks, garbage trucks, recycle trucks. Those are, you're going to have to have a Class B license to drive those. Um, and you get down to Class 8, that is, um, that is when we're starting to get into the, uh, the, the big trucks, the Class A trucks that you that you're gonna have to have a class A license because the weight is gonna be over thirty two thousand pounds. And I'll show you exactly what the weight is in a second. Um so you got your concrete mixers, uh you got fire trucks, uh, although some fire trucks are you're only required to have a uh, class B license. It just depends on the weight. Um Fuel trucks, heavy semi tractor. That's what I have. Uh, well, actually, mine's a sleeper, but that one looks like it's got a sleeper too. Refrigerated van. That's still a straight truck. And then your ticket bus, which is like your your Greyhound buses. Your your uh, 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 it used to be Trailways. I don't know if Trailways is even around anymore, but your your Greyhound buses, the big red bus and stuff like that. Um, but there, there again, that's class eight. Um, and maybe a tow truck, you might be required to have a class A. Some of these class sevens might, you might have to have a class A license. Uh, not totally sure, but you're for sure going to have to have one with the class eight, which is, uh, and there's the trailers down to the bottom. 
that's not really uh that's not really what we're looking at but that's just a, a little picture of the, the trailer different types of trailers you have okay now if we go over here to this other chart this is the weights okay now you look at the top one you got 24 feet it's a dual it's a dual tandem in the back um, and then this is this is just for your class B and class A vehicles right here. This is not including the uh, the the sixes, the class six, class five, class four, class three, class two. It's just like class sevens and higher is what we're looking at now. Um, ones that are carrying because you can see they got thirty four thousand pounds on the uh, on the back axles. Uh, if you look at the top line, so um, yeah, look at the top vehicle there. It's just a straight truck, and you got on the tires, on the wheels. You see one, two, and three. Okay, one that's your steer axle, and then two and three those are your drive axles. Um, and as we go down and look at the uh, combination vehicles, things have changed a little bit. But that one on top, that's going to be. If it's a 34,000 pound, like on two and three, that's gonna be a class A vehicle. If it, if it was less than 34,000, it would be a class, if it was, um, I'm sorry, if it was 26 to 33, which is your class seven, that's gonna be a class v, v, B vehicle. But these are all class A's, uh, according to this chart. Okay, we'll go down to the next line. We're starting to look at combination vehicles, which you, which you, um, you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to have, uh, uh, except for the second one that only has one axle, and you can see it's only good for twenty, uh, twenty thousand pounds. But when you add this trailer onto it. That trailer is good for, you look at three and four, that trailer is good for 34,000 pounds. That means that's over 33. So that means you're going to have to have, to pull that particular trailer with that particular tractor. Uh, even if it's uh, a single axle tractor, but since the trailer is capable of 34,000 pounds, you're going to have to have a class A license to drive it with that trailer on it. Now you could put a trailer on it that was just a single axle and it was just a 20,000 pound. Then you could, then you could drive it. You could uh, drive it without a class A. You could have to have a class B. Um, and we go down to the third one and you see that one has uh, dual tandems. So that's going to be uh axle one is 20,000 and axles two and three and four and five are both going to be 34. So that puts you over the 33 limit so on both the drive axles on the tractor and the um, trailer axles as well. So you would have to have a, a Class A license to drive that one. Um, and the bottom one is just for, I know if you've lived in big cities, you live in big cities, a lot of times you'll see trucks running around with trailers that have, you know, just the whole side of the trailer is nothing but axles. That's just to spread the weight out. Um, Cause if you can see each, each, uh, you know, the axle one is 20,000, uh, two and three are 34. So that's definitely a class A vehicle. And um, four, five and six, that's 42,000 because there's an extra there's an extra set of axles there or one extra axle there's actually two axles on each of those single wheels but they call it a a single axle it's it's usually 9000 pounds per single axle but there's two axles on there so it's 18000 18 20000 pound however you want however you want to say it 20000 pound maximum and it's going to be an 18,000 uh, pound typical load, but you wouldn't want to max out over 20. So uh, with two of them, you, you're going to get the 34 and uh, 
with three of them, you're getting 42. So you can put 48,000 on the front. You know, that's only 43 feet long. So you can still have a total of 80,000 with that one on the bottom, even if it's shorter. Because if you look at the one above it, it's 51 feet. So that's from that, and that's from uh, the center of the steer axle to the rear center of the, uh, I'm sorry, the center of the steer axle to the center of the furthest back most axle. That's what the measurement is. It's not the measurement of the trailer itself. Um, the one in, the one on the bottom is only 43 feet and it's got an extra tag axle on the trailer too. So um, it can carry just as much weight as the one above it that doesn't have the extra tag axle, but it's longer. So the longer the longer the trailer, the more weight you can put on it because you're dispersing the, the weight uh, further distance on the road. It's not crammed into one spot. And, even, and being that short one is only 43 feet long, you if there if there wasn't a third axle there, he wouldn't be able to carry 80,000 pounds. He would be limited to, it looks like 67, 67.5. Yeah, if that number four wasn't there, or maybe it's just uh, yeah. He would be he would be limited to less. Um, and there's also doubles too. Uh, there's no doubles on here, but I don't have a doubles license. I don't a doubles endorsement. Um, and all doubles is is it's it's like it's like this one down here. It's like this. You're adding axles. Because with doubles, you'll have either a setup like this, but there'll be an extra trailer on the back, and you'll have two extra axles back there that's so long and got the extra axle that it's spreading the weight. You know, instead of just being like this in one spot, the weight is spread out further. So you can have more weight. The doubles, if they have a dual tandem like this, I think they can do 120,000. Don't quote me completely on it, but uh, uh, I think they can do 100 or 120,000 or the other if they have those axles. If they have a, a, a dual axle here. You know, and some trucks will have three axles here. You know, and that would that would allow you to carry more weight on the front. So, that kind of simplifies the whole thing there. Uh, the classes is the size, like over here, the size and the amount of weight they can carry. And the axle configuration is also determines the amount of weight you can carry. You can go, see, this is just going to be a standard, you know, 80,000 pounds would be your limit on your, you know, your track, your tractor trailer, your heavy, excuse me, your heavy semi tractor with the with a, a a regular van trailer like this a 53 foot with two with with a double axle like this is it's limit that's what I drive and the limit is going to be 80,000 pounds total gross weight but if you had um, you know extra tag axles on here you know or extra tag axles here or in both places or sometimes there'll just be two axles here, but they'll be spread out further. That can give you a uh, an advantage to weight um, to where you can carry more weight. Okay, and it go it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. You know, it goes, it goes, it goes to, to to different levels. The amount of, beyond this will be the amount of axles you have. Like I said, if you're in the uh, in the Chicago area where I'm at a lot, I see a whole lot of, of uh, trailers that just have 10 axles on each side, you know, and they can just carry, so they're usually tankers because the liquid is usually really heavy. And, you know, these 
the big tankers will have, you know, like I said, eight, 10 axles on each side, which enables them to carry an ungodly amount of weight, you know, lots and lots of tons. I'd have to know, uh, adding it up, you know, just, just got to do some math, you know. So anyway, that is uh, the bulk of what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to clear up the mistake I made in my previous video. And uh, uh, besides that, uh, that's pretty much it for today. WW Solo Trucker out.